Well, tornadoes are unusual, of course, in Southern California. Yep. KCAL meteorologist Evelyn Taft joins us now to explain how it all happened. Indeed, and I mean, we are getting a look at live radar right now. This was our loop from earlier today, and it was a combination of many things, sort of the perfect storm. First and foremost, we had that instability, a little bit of warm air and cold air coming together, and we had that uplift as well. So we need that, and then we got a little bit of rotation, and that's what you're seeing right there. This is actually a 3D model of that cell. Take a look right here. So we had really good rotation. That's what you're seeing, that hook echo, if you will. See, it kind of looks like a kidney bean a little bit. So there's the shape of our hook echo. This is again the vorticity, the rotation. That's what we were seeing earlier, and that is really the wind shear that creates a tornado. So, really unbelievable that this is right here at home again in Montebello. National Weather Service still assessing the damage, and from the naked eye, it was a funnel cloud. We saw it touch down to the ground, and again, radar just showing you the same exact picture. Here's the thing the questions earlier, uh, people asked. Why was there not a tornado warning? These cells came through so quickly, it was so hard to even spot. We saw a little bit of activity on radar as far as thunderstorm cells embedded in there, uh, lightning strikes, but that rotation happened quickly, and that's what we were just seeing on that 3D radar. The next question people have been asking, have we seen a tornado here in Southern California? Is this common? It's more common than you think. You'll see between 1950 and 19 or in 2022, 469 confirmed tornadoes statewide with 45 of those in LA County alone. So it does happen, but not very often. <laughs> For now, though, Pat Juan, back to you.